welcome back to Four Wheel Drive Adventure Crew. My name is Voss, and we are out here at King of the Hammers 2024. And uh, today's Wednesday. There's a qualifying going on, so we're gonna go explore while the course is open. So we're gonna see how much we can explore and where we can get on my XJ without breaking anything down. Because yesterday we played a little bit, but today we're gonna do more. And then we'll go into town and show you some of the cool vehicles we found that are very cool. So we're gonna go hit the trails and then we'll get back into town. Too sketchy. <laughs> Hold on. Ay, uh, so much. All right, we're definitely off camera. All right, he's going to try to turn around. This is all just wild sand, soft. Rain a couple days ago. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's at least about 30, 35 degree angle. Sloan making his way back. You gonna try to back up? I don't know. I guess we're backing up. You're backing up? All right. So y'all can tell, huge dips. Just trying to back up. This is a steep angle going all the way down. All right, man, back up. All right, nice and slow. All right, as we're coming down, Quite a few people attempted this run. We've got serpentine belts. Just shows you how steep this place is. I mean, you'll lose parts, tires, belts. Um, so definitely takes a qualifying rig to go up. All right, attempt number two of this more rocky area. Boulder. This is a lot steeper than hellhole uh, ledges right here, but it has sand on top of it, so it's even worse. I drove up on top of this mountain, which actually had the rocks on it, not sand, because my Jeep does not have too good of a traction in the sand. I don't have three, 400 horsepower for sand, which you need. So now we're trying to get this Can-Am to come up here. We'll see what happens. But uh, the view is amazing from here. The town is right there. The race course that they're doing the qualifying right now is right around that mountain. But all this is open desert riding area right now. Because this is going to be part of the race course uh, tomorrow. So this is all going to be closed for access. So we're just trying to, you know, explore as much as we can of this before it gets closed off for access for the rest of the weekend. Alright, the driver's change. 
Alex making his way up. you made it up Alex let me ask something how much a good driver makes a difference all of it all of it goodness gracious made it up here boys and girls good to go all right another cool thing you guys have not noticed about this buggy in the camp what we ended up doing is removing a blinker here it does a great weight reduction up front to give you more of that torque up so follow us for more tips we got you Check out my feet, my, my brake technique. All right. <laughs> Double pedal to the, to, the, to the brakes in order to make the soft camber down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are making our way down. Hold on, I have a, I have a, at the, what? Incline meter, I think. I don't, maybe I don't have it. Woo! Let's see. Should I shoot it? All right. In case y'all don't know, there's warning signs down there. We're going to read them what they say. It probably says, hey, don't attempt this or you will die. <laughs> We're risk takers here. <laughs> We're going down a good, let's the, see. How good of an incline are we going down? 20, uh, 20 something 20, degrees now. 20 degrees. That's what Apple says. <laughs> I fe it, feel, it feels like 45. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Alright. Race in progress. Danger. Spectres beyond this point. Brace, so brace yourself. That's, that's, this is where they're going to close it off um, on the uh, tomorrow for the Can-Am race. I mean for the side-by-side -side race. And then they're gonna close it off for the next couple days. So, yep. But right now it's open. All right, we're good for now. We're exploring. We're probably gonna head on to the lake bed, and then somewhere in the back, we got we got our uh, our boys trying to make it this way. So we, I came up with a stupid idea and the, to do a drag race between me and uh, side by side, Can Am. So we're probably gonna lose, but. At least it'll be a cool shot. So give us a sec, we're about to start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna attempt something. Might be a little crazy. Hope mom's not watching, all right, y'all? What we're gonna do is they're gonna race right at me. I'm gonna sit right in the middle and they go right past me. We're gonna see if that's gonna be a cool shot or not, all right? Y'all stay tuned. This is for, for the views, boys, for the views. Let's go, for the views, let's go. Here we go. position again we got two boys right there the dust gonna settle and they're gonna launch it <laughs> well, that was expected, but it was fun. You know, my 4.0 doesn't have much in terms of uh, taking off power, but it's just uh, funny how, you know, 
We want to do it. Even though I got two car links on the second run, still had no chance. By the time I hit throttle, he already passed me. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Power weight ratio on those things. We had some fun bombing through the desert, um, going through some rocks. So we're going into town to kind of go explore and find some cool vehicles on display. Main gate of the event. It's a windy day today, but still a lot of people out here. Here's an awesome build by a cool YouTube channel called Grind Hard Plumbing Co. And this thing's amazing. The amazing work that's been put on into this is crazy. So much TIG welding and everything. It looks pretty cool. I don't think it's too practical, but it's pretty cool. So, very cool design. And those are uh, 46 inch tires. If you want to see the perspective of a semi truck, that's what it looks like. Nice, and I was able to meet the builder of this vehicle yesterday out in uh, at the town. So here's a perspective of the same tires that are not that bike are on this Gladiator right here. Yep. Pretty crazy. Lots of crazy builds out here. As we stand out here and we look, you can see the people come in and do their finish runs around here. So this is a pretty cool viewing area. We're gonna go explore some more uh, pits for the uh, race teams. Oh, there's a car coming in right there. If you're out here and you want to get yourself a monster energy drink, all you have to do is come up to this booth and grab the flavor you want. All right, best part about monster, about to show you. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Did I get a white one? Yes, sir. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Sponsored by Monster. Today is a tech inspection for the top class, the 4400. So you're going to see all the big dog cars. Yeah, we're going to go look at the last year's champion, Raul Gomez's car. And it's the king currently until the race tomorrow. And they'll find out if the, it remains the king or somebody else will take his crown. So this right here, the first car is the current King car. It's the uh, Raul's car. This is crazy. This thing is a monster. Yep, and there's the trophy right there. That's the King Scepter. Nice. Well, 
look at all these exhausts. Oh, this is why they stop here. So this, our CV axles on here are ginormous. That's about an inch and a half axle shaft. You are not snapping this. No matter what. It is crazy. And these have the IRS, which means independent rear suspension. So it's really crazy stuff. So the whole Gomez Brothers racing team is out of uh, Placerville area, California, which means they are our hometown boys. And they're dominating King of the Hammers for past few years. Number 83, Raul Gomez is a current king and he won King of the Hammers twice in the past two years. So we'll see tomorrow if he will win or not. But yeah, it's nice to be out here to root for the local boys from our Sacramento area. this kind of little buggy in its class very small wheelbase it's uh, basically a uh, looks like a can-am mo super modified to run in this class we're out here by fun haver booth and they have this cool fun haver desert truck it's a four by four it could compete in the uh, King of the Hammers, but they have Broncos. So I think this is their one of their Bronco two doors. And this thing is massive. Everything is massive on these. It's on portals, IFS, with huge RCVs or not. Maybe just regular CVs looks like. So it's crazy. Just crazy, crazy machines. And this thing is on 42 inch tires. So, yeah, there's plenty of things to do out here. Plenty of people to see. All right, we're leaving the yard. We got a few more things to do. We checked out the Gomez Brothers uh, vehicles. And uh, right now we're gonna go have some lunch. Back at camp and uh, get out to play a little bit later when the track opens up All again. Right, we're out here. The King of the Hammers and Progressives Insurance got this big Ferris wheel out here. We got some tickets, some free tickets. We're gonna go get on it right now. Pretty cool. It's pretty big. It's really cold and windy right now. So we'll just uh, get up there and check it out. I guess we're gonna go a few loops, loop-de-loops on it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh, look, at the, look at the view. Can't see my face. So we're we're out here. This is for content, y'all. We die. Hit like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only place we haven't been yet is all the way up top. So the Ferris wheel has stopped right now, so we can look around and see everything. And then it's gonna run all the way down soon again. All right, I wanna go down there. There's bars and tacos. Mm. There's burgers and tacos. There's fireworks. We've got our town. Dope. All right, we're going for a ride now. Lap number two. Up, oh, nope, I was just qualifying. <laughs> hey, we're race car number eight. <laughs> Yeah, some, somebody's excited and screaming down there. Ah! There's some fireworks going on everywhere. Look at that. That's amazing. We're completely chilled. Yeah, we're very chilled at the moment. 
a good uh, hot chocolate would really be good right now. Look at all those fireworks. Uh, so Sam, where are we? We're at a place that's called food, beer, and something else. All right, let's go see what they have.